Chambers of Tractor View, and I'm out here at Evergreen Equipment with my friend Scott. As you can hear, there's a lot of noise. It's still harvest uh, 11 out here, uh, but I'm getting an opportunity to get first look at the S690 combine that Deer has out. So what I want to do is I'm just going to go around the outside of it. Later on, I'll post another post uh, on the interior of it, and hopefully we'll get this thing out in the field later to test it. So I'm going to let Scott kind of go through some of the features, and the first thing I'm noticing with this is the massive new hopper um, up there. Uh, so Scott, if you want to just go through and tell me a little bit about uh, a little bit about the hopper around here. All right, so Scott, this is an optional hopper. You can still get the standard hopper with extensions. This is your 400 bushel electric folding option. Okay. Uh, so it can't fold in, it's full, and it's not waterproof, but uh, it is made so you can fold when you're going down the road or putting it away. Awesome, that's amazing, that's a huge, I don't know if you can tell on the scale of this video, but it's massive. Uh, as you can see, we're not going to get inside because they still have it on jacks, they're putting some jewels on it. Um, let's just go take a look around this side of it and have a, uh, a look what they beefed up. It looks as though the inside's a little bit different here too, Scott, on your chains and such. Right, they beefed up the chains on here. They've added up the weight from 3.3 uh, bushels per second to 3.8 bushels per second on the Class 8 and Class 9. Uh -huh. uh, their goal was so it would unload in what, 90 seconds, Ron, was the, the goal. They wanted to keep it the same as the other Class 7s with 3.3. The unit itself looks like it's stretched out a bit more when I look at the back end compared to, you know, some of the previous units. Is it longer now? Right. They made the sieves longer. Instead of making them wider, uh, they made them longer. And there's a theory on the wind behind that. Okay. So your fan is going to be at full capacity at the front because you aren't making it wider, aren't spreading it out too thin, and they made it longer uh, for that. Yeah. Okay, and the back end here, I noticed that there's some adjusting here that you didn't, we used to have to do that doesn't appear that we have to do now. Right, right here, just change from high to low on your chopper. Okay. As well, all your system for belt is self-tensioning now. You don't have to uh, take off your belt when you go to drop straw. And, uh, or move it up back on to chop it. Now this is the premium residue system. You can still get the old widespread fine cut straw chopper with power cast tailboard, but this is the premium one. Um, it allows you also to uh, drop straw and spread your chaff. Cool. And I noticed the exhaust being a little bit different off the back end of it here, Scott. Right. It ha it's an IT4 engine, which is interim tier 4. It's got a diesel particulate filter. Uh, Deer has gone that way on all their stuff instead of uh, shooting uh, uh, urea in the exhaust. Yeah. Um, so What's the horsepower on the engine that's in this unit? This is a class 9. So peak horsepower on it is 617 horsepower. Deer has now claimed the highest horsepower combine in the world. <laughs> For all you, Tim, <laughs> Tim the tool man, highest horsepower. <laughs> so, uh, and obviously here's another look or a side look at that chaff management system. Uh, that's pretty slick. Uh, that's very cool, very cool. Yeah. Really different design features, uh, quite a few different features with this. Um, as opposed to the old system. Explain here, it looks like again they've made some change ups in the system here. Right, so instead of putting your tailings back in your rotor and taking up your capacity, it's called an active tailings now. Uh, basically there's a set of RAS bars in this unit here yeah. um, that's going to thresh out what's ever in your tailings and then it augers it across your sieves and drops it on and it progresses from uh, small holes to larger holes to uh, spread it out well. Another thing I'd like to point out is right here, they have now moved their uh, moisture sensor onto okay. the side, and it's no longer in your uh, range. Very cool. That's, that's great. Well, uh, this is a pretty impressive outfit. There goes another uh, uh, 9870 heading out the door. Um, there's a pretty significant difference between uh, this new series and uh, the previous series of combines. So, uh, I can't wait till you guys have the demo out in the field with this. Uh, I think it's going to be amazing. So uh, we'll also get a preview of the cab the next go round. Obviously, it's noisy, and that's that's a good thing. That means machinery's moving through here. And uh, anything else on this, Scott, that uh, you can think of off the top of your head that's new? I mean, I can't wait to get in that cab and check it out. But we'll wait for now. Uh, no, not really. They changed up the um, fuel tank, so it's no longer plastic. It's aluminum. Uh, 
so that is actually what you walk on when you go up to the engine is the fuel tank. Okay. Uh, cab is 20% bigger. It's awesome. But well, I can't wait until we get in there and take a video of it. Real great. Well, thanks for now. Again, this is Tractor View down at Evergreen Equipment, uh, checking out the brand new series of John Deere combines. And, and uh, I, even with the massive crop we've got out here in this area this year, I think we're going to have trouble keeping this thing full. This is the S690. Thanks for now.